the corporate control of our lives. We need health care! Almost 200 people gathered in front of the U.S. District Courthouse on Thursday, October 6, for the first of four hourly demonstrations to be held this weekend. Thursday's demonstration, organized by members of Peace Fresno, was held to coincide with the start of a movement in Washington, D.C. called Stop the Machine, Create a New World. Vice President of Peace Fresno, Dan Yassin, said his organization announced the demonstration almost two months ago. We had announced our demonstration way before that some people and some other groups decided to call it Occupy Fresno. So we are in the middle of it. We support the goal of the Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Together, Occupy Everywhere, Occupy Fresno. One Fresno State student was instrumental in bringing the Occupy Wall Street protest to Fresno because of what he says are the ongoing financial problems. I knew that uh, we have a lot of people in the city that um, they've, they've, uh, they've been hit with foreclosures, they've been hit with, with layoffs, you know, families, you know, single people, married couples, everybody in the city has been affected in some way. You know, even, even high tuition, you know, can be, can be linked to, to what's been going on. Some protested against capitalism, others called for the end of the Afghanistan and Iraq wars, and others protested against corporations. Is that the common good has to come before corporate welfare. But a common idea amongst the protesters was that it is the public that needs to take action. They're tired of waiting for a politician on a white horse to come save the day, so they want the change to come right now. Some of the protesters headed to the county courthouse afterwards. More protests are planned for this weekend, and some people say they will stay as long as it takes. Sergio Robles, The Collegian Online.